Welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome back to playing Tales of Arise. If you're new here, we're play on this channel, we're playing RPG games with great, phenomenal stories. So please like, comment, subscribe if you like that type of content. And if you like story-driven um, video games and stuff like that, I'm your guy. Okay, if you've been watching me, I'm um, watching the different episodes, you know, where we last left off is basically we have to go to the Este Lava Forest. So right now I'm just kind of exploring a little bit here. You know how I said you guys you have to kind of like explore. I was done doing a lot of grinding um, just to level up a little bit to make, you know, the game a little a little more pleasant um, and uh, kind of reduce the challenge a little bit. But anyhow, let's get to it, guys. So now let's go ahead and, um, and do a quick camp. Uh, you know what? Let's not do that right now. Um, so we're I'm basically exploring, trying to figure out where are these materials? I'm trying to trying to get certain materials. So that's what we're doing to upgrade my weaponry. Hmm, look at this. This is beautiful, man. This is amazing. Mahog Sar, a land where the winds scar and the clouds stretch far. Kisar. What is he doing? Reciting a poem, apparently. Just let him be. What's up, homie? What is this? Red lavender. What's this thing? Let's go. Oh, it's game time. We'll start this battle with a bang, baby. Ooh. That thing just... Just teleports. This is just the same time, like, the same... Little bastard that we did last time. But I know if I hit him from the back, he's weak over there. Oh shit. Got him. And you're behind. Oh, we broke him down. That is perfect. Let's, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Law. We got his weakness. There we go. There we go. Look sharp. Nice. Beautiful, beautiful. We destroyed him. We did it. People. No complaints from me. Hell yeah, dude. All right. Bizarre medical. Ooh. Okay. Cool. So I mean, they're not that hard, per se. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's keep going, people. There's one over there. What up, dude? Hold on, before we do that. Hold on, relax, man. Just relax. Is there something they're guarding? Is there something there? Doesn't seem like there's something there. Hmm. It's go time. You don't scare me, homeboy. You don't scare me, homeboy. You don't scare me, bro. Oh, you don't scare me. You don't scare me, homeboy. Ooh. Ooh. How you like them apples? It's time to show you what we have here, buddy. Yes. Yes, there we go. I'm behind you. Oh, he's disappearing now. A weakness. You missed me, you homeboy. Oh shit. Oh shit. Stop that half. That half breed. Did you just kill me? There we go. It's over. This guy's still alive? Are you serious? I'll crush you. Mystic Arts, baby. Eat that. Nice. Oh my god, that's just awesome. I could never get enough of that. And this bastard is still alive. Are you kidding me? Impact Cross. Now that's sick. <laughs> like we're gonna lose to small fry. We got the lizard fin. So that's where you get the lizard fin. So, okay, so you have to beat these guys up in order to get um, the materials that you need. Alright, now we're going to sleep real quick. Let's just rest to heal. 
and then we'll continue beating up these bad guys to get the materials that we need to um, level up our weapons and stuff to craft. Is there a reason you're looking at me so intently? Shion's kind of turned into the local fashion critic in our group. So this is what lords like you wear. Certainly looks the part. I can tell at a glance what high quality everything is. It's not often Shion's that impressed. You wear a lot of rings too, don't you? They were a gift. Purchased rather cheaply, or so I was told. What's your definition of cheap, exactly? I believe it was around 100 to 200,000 gold. What? If my wolf head cost 10 gold, then that'd mean... Holy crap! They cost a thousand times more?! 10,000 times more! If he sold those things off, I bet he could build a damn mansion with them. At the very least, he'd never go hungry the rest of his life. True. You're True all that. beginning to sound alarmingly interested in my rings. Hey, it's all good. Little dialogue now. No, Halim, your spare bracers were getting dirty, so I polished them up along with the rest of your equipment. Why, thank you, Kisara. I greatly appreciate that. Maybe it's just my imagination, but you sure seem to fuss over Dohalim a whole lot, Kisara. It is a little strange. Almost like you're still in his service. Really? That's certainly not my intention. Besides, he's not the only one I'm like that with. Hey, Law, I saw your clothes were starting to get holes in them, so I stitched them back up for you. Oh, wow. Thanks, <laughs> Kisara. Point taken. Do you just like looking after people? Probably. I wouldn't go so far as to say I like it. Nothing wrong with I that. But I get anxious if I don't. I'd always like to help if I can. It comes naturally to me. Back in the day, Miguel and I used to look after the younger kids a lot, so that's probably where it comes from. He taught me everything I know, and I mean everything. How to cook with wild plants, how to sew clothes so they'll last. Without him, we never would have been able to survive. That's cool, man. However, you're a not a lord anymore, Dohalim. You need to get used to the idea that people aren't just going to wait on you hand and foot. Yes, you're absolutely right. I'm ashamed to admit that I felt no qualms about her doing all that for me. As both a Renan and especially as a Lord, one becomes too accustomed to those beneath you tending to your every need, both Renans and Danans alike. Sure, that's how all you Renans are probably raised. But just to be clear, we're not your servants, Dohalim. Got that? Absolutely. Moments such as this provide me with ample opportunity to confront my unease. It is difficult to tend with my own motivations. That's true. What do you mean? And the truth of the matter is that my espousal of coexistence in Menencia hardly came from an idealistic place. That instinctive unease I feel deep within serves as a reminder for what it is that I, that all of us here, fight for. Don't be so hard on yourself. No one's going to abandon you if you aren't always perfect. Looking at her now, I think she's more like his mom than his servant. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Counting, uh, counting the party gold. The party's gold. Hmm. What's up, Kisara? You look concerned. <sighs> oh, no, it's just... I'm looking at our finances, and they seem to have taken a nosedive. I don't remember us making any big purchases, though. Ah, that may be because I borrowed a small amount to purchase something the other day. I don't think you can call spending more than half of our money a small amount. <laughs> wow. Half? Yo, Halim, what the hell did you buy? As it so happens, I came upon a rather special object that I've long been searching for. Are you talking about that junk? Uh, I mean, that uh, unique-looking trinket you're holding? <laughs> <laughs> wow, is that a... Junk. Indeed. It is a lost artifact from ancient Danon times. Most likely, it was used for some sort of rite or ritual. Ever since we Renans conquered Dana, such objects have been disappearing. I simply want to do my part to help preserve both our people's storied histories. Nice of you, man. Well, if it's to preserve Dan and history, then I guess we can maybe look the other way. Just this once? I don't know. Why spend money on something that won't even keep us fed? More to the point, we all contribute to that money. I don't like the thought of anyone dipping into it without saying anything. You must understand. Had I let that opportunity pass me by, I'd never have come across this item again. Dohalim, maybe no one taught you that money doesn't grow on trees. I may have been a lord, but I realize that much. It's not enough to simply realize it. 
You have to internalize the concept, too. Even after all this time, you still have no real sense of money. Our funds aren't your personal wallet. We camp outside and eat grass for dinner to try and stretch every last gold we have. You never know when we may need it. Uh, I don't think we're so poor that we have to eat grass or any... <laughs> Shut up, Alfin. <laughs> Shutting. Let's just agree to not spend too wow. much or be too thrifty for our own good. Man, the Earth Master Core. This is a lot of dialogue in this in this episode, guys. A lot Alfin, of wonderful stories. Your blazing sword draws its power from Shion's Fire Master Core, right? So I'm told. Then why don't you use yours, Dohalim? You mean my Earth Master Core, yes? Yeah, I mean, you still carry it around with you, don't you? I do. Each Master Core contains the astral energy harvested from Dan and slaves over the course of the last three centuries. Though only a select few qualified people, namely the Lords, can wield them, they nevertheless hold too much power to simply abandon. If only the Lords are supposed to be able to use them, how come Alfin and Shion can use theirs? That may be because Shion has embedded the Fire Master Core within her body, something which wouldn't have occurred under normal circumstances. Okay, but why do you still carry yours around? Just as Danans see Master Cores as symbols of the lives and resources robbed from them, so too do I view mine as a symbol of our lasting sins. The pain and agony wrought upon this world by my predecessors, as well as the injustice enabled by my own inaction, are all housed within my Master Core. It is a testament of all that I have done wrong. It cannot ever be used again, nor fall back into the wrong hands. <sighs> Dohalim. You didn't differentiate between the deaths of Danans and the deaths of Renans. Danans and Renans both spill blood and languish in agony all the same. I just couldn't bear to hear it any longer. That's all. It makes sense. We're all the same. For that. Man, she's still bitter. I mean, she's lost family and friends and stuff like that, so, you know... Poor little Renswell, you know, she's she's still bitter and she still doesn't like uh, Lord. Well, he's not a lord anymore, but Dohalim. All right, let's rest. Uh, cook before resting. Yes, I guess we can. Um, hmm. Cooking effects duration, 20%. A cooking effect duration, 15%. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, let's, yeah, ooh, this is good. Um, uh, made from someone else. Law, Alfin. Let's use Kisara. She says she cooks really good. Thanks for waiting. Eat as much as you like. Nice. All right, so I need to talk to... I think I need to get closer to... Renwell. Renwell. I'm going to talk to Renwell a little bit because she's still bitter about the whole... I noticed you haven't been training Huda lately. Is he doing okay? Yeah, he's fine. He's been catching fish with Kisara. And he seems to be adjusting his diet on his own, so I'm not as worried as before. Maybe that's his way of pitching in, so you don't have to do everything for him. Yeah, maybe. I guess at some point he started taking a shine to everyone, too. Just like they did to him. You sound like you're okay with that. Yeah. More than okay, really. It feels natural having Hoodle and everyone around. I know what you mean. We all support and take care of each other in our own ways. It's starting to feel like we're almost a family. Huh. I hadn't thought of it like that. So does that make you everybody's dad? <laughs> Do I really look that old to you? Huh? You don't like that? Okay. How about you be the big brother? Shion is the big sister. There you go. And Kisara can be our mom. Well, then how about Dohalim for the dad? Nope. I don't really get that kind of vibe from Dohalim. He's more like an uncle. An old uncle, who's too preachy and snarky for his own good sometimes. <laughs> and as for Law... Hmm... Well, Hoodle took the little brother role, and Law's definitely, definitely not the dad. Hmm... This is hard. Oh! Law can be the pet dog! The pet dog! A dog? <laughs> do dogs really count as part of a family? Yeah, they do. Of course they do! If an owl can be part of our family, so can a dog. <laughs> That's right. When you think about it like that, we have a pretty fun family. Yeah, a pretty big one as well. That's why I like it so much. 
I wish we didn't have to do anything dangerous. I just want to keep traveling the world with you guys the way we are right now. You okay? Uh, oh, it's nothing. Actually, I think I'm gonna go practice with Hoodle for a bit. You are now closer to Renwell. Hoodle, let me know if you sense anything. See, the thing is, Renwell has a secret. This is the beginning of the game. She it seems like she's hiding something, but we don't we don't know what it is yet. Emblem obtained. Growing boy. Okay. Cool. Growing boy recover. Alright, we don't have anything to do there. Another day, another gold. Never be too prepared. Right. But did we have to spend so much? I'm sorry, but we have to spend so much. Let's get this guy because he has the tail fin real quick. Let's get that. Run no further. Damn lizard. Dumbass lizard. It's time to give you some pain, baby. Damn, he just left. He's lucky he left. You're so lucky you left, homeboy. I'm like right behind him. Yeah, baby. Time to do this. Oh shit. Whoa. What the hell? He's just bulldozing. What the hell? You little bastard. Got him. Consider yourself finished. Later. Say goodbye, baby. With your flames there it is. My technique. Lizard We're stronger fin. together than we are apart. Lizard fin. Okay. All right. So we have to go to. I think we're good right now. Let's just kill these birds real quick here. These flying. Let's do this. What up? Ooh, that's your weakness, homeboy. Yes, and it's over, baby. Nice. Over for you, homeboy. That was easy. That, that was extra easy. training paid off. What's this? Ooh. Copper chunk estrial ore. That's right, a little water ain't gonna do jack. What's over here? Ooh. Oh, there's a dude here. Let's heal the guy. Okay, thanks. I was so caught up fishing that I didn't realize I was about to turn into bait myself. Sea bream. Hmm. Cool. Finally. Well, what is it? I found an ingredient for that new recipe. Nice. All right, what's over here? Let me make sure we didn't miss anything. There's nothing over here. No. Okay. Okay. So before we leave, let me just kill this guy real quick. Well, before I do that, let me heal us. There we go. Heal us up real good. And I think we have um I think the animals back at the ranch should right. be all right, let's get the hell out of here. Let's get up out of here, baby. Let's go. I might just cut all this stuff out, my peeps. You know, I know you guys might not like travel. Might not like to see the travel, but I don't know. Just comment down below. Let me know if you like to see the travel. Astro ore. See, we got an astro ore there. Um, let's kill this guy. It's go time. 
But opponent like this should be easy. Sure he is. It's not that easy. Ooh. Let's fix him. Damn. He got knocked the fudge out. Missed me, you homeboy. Oh, here he comes. Oh. Get him, Dahalim. Tie him up. Oh, now he's pissed. Oh, crap. Charge like that. Oh, shit. Just as well, I'm here to stop it. This little bastard. Whoa, 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 whoa. I should probably do something about that. It's over for you, homeboy. Shut him down. It's over. Very nice. There we go. Beyond combo. He didn't die? Anything in armor is all mine. I can carve through. Watch this. Radiant Pierce. Damn bastard. Got him. Ooh. Healing circle. Got him. Commander of heaven. Phoenix Circle. Bye. Say hello to my little Looks friend. Like it can be worth something. Lizard Finn, too. Nice. See, so we can um upgrade again. Alright, but let's just get out of here because I know. Let's um I think we have to go that way. Yeah, we we came this way to explore. Whatever, dude. Let me get my goodies. Perfect. Mr. Zoogle. Man, shut up. Get your ass kicked, homeboy. You can't move now, homeboy. There we go. It's over. Ooh, you little bastard. That's why you can't do nothing now, huh? How about them apples? A comfortable win. Look at this. Windswept main. Okay, perfect. Let's get out of here. Beautiful. Look at his sword. He has a cool sword. Woo! Alright, let's get out of here. I mean, we, we, we found a lot of great stuff here, so... We were able to upgrade. Okay, so... Where are we? But, not before I grab my goodies. What up, what up, what up? Let me join the party, baby. Time to join the party. Ooh, got both of y'all suckers. Got you both. Time to throw you up in the air. Going up. Damn. Crappy little zoogles. Barely a blip on our radar. Nice. Goodies. Potato. Alright, let's keep going. Um, am I supposed to go that way? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go time, baby. Yeah, whatever, dude. You Yes. Dovalim, take care of that. It's time for me to finish it. Yes. Get him. Ooh, way too nasty. That's my girl. That was nice. Yeah. Very and nice. Excited! Everyone hanging in there. All right. Of course, everyone's hanging hanging in there. We got it like that. Let's kick these guys' asses, right? We're still going the right way. Okay. Kick your ass. Have to rip your gut out. Got for me, homeboy. 
It's time to take care of that. Get that homeboy. Man, we're like triple teaming this guy. Everybody just destroyed him. Looks like it could be worth something. Hell yeah. Let me collect this stuff right here real quick. Beautiful. Ooh, another camp out. Alright, hold on. Before we do that. Hold on. I see you. Gotta collect all my goodies. You need all this. Okay. So it's either down there. Hold on. Down there, over. Hmm. I guess we can go this way. We can go here first. I think the animals back at the ranch should be all grown up by now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some rice. What up, dude? Okay, what's good? All right. I always love the sound of hammers banging away. Okay, I'm probably gonna cut this out. I'm gonna rest real quick. I'm probably gonna cut this out. It's too boring, I guess. Might be anyway. But I feel all bent out of shape. I know yeah. what you mean. Hard to settle down after seeing all those ruins. We fought hard to help liberate the people of Dana, but every realm we've been to along the way could have easily turned out like this. When powerful forces collide, the destruction they leave gets that much worse. So we've been lucky things haven't turned out worse up until now? Regardless, I don't want to see this realm get messed up any more than it already is. We Me have neither. to capture this lord ourselves no matter what. Me neither. Hey, Rinwell. What was that whole legend you were talking about earlier, back when we were by the gate? Huh? Oh, you mean about the Darkwings? It's an old story about a Danon hero that's been passed down for generations. Like I said, I sure haven't heard it before. Yeah, me neither. Well, long ago, there was an evil king who tried to bring all of Dana to ruin. However, a pure black owl heard the pleas of the people and decided to help. It chose a young hero and bestowed upon them a holy flame that was capable of vanquishing the king. The story goes that the young hero challenged the king and defeated them with the flame. Seeing Dana had been saved, the people flew the crest of the Dark Wings as thanks to the owl for its help. From what I understand, it used to be a really well-known story before the Renans came. I guess our people must have forgotten it over time. It's lucky for us you still know it. You sure are well-versed in these sorts of things, Rinwell. You know, the part where the hero defeats the king with a flame reminds me a little of Alfin. Uh, come on, it's just a story. Besides, if we're talking about an owl helping anyone, Kudo would definitely choose Rinwell. Sure, I might have helped take out our own kind of evil king with the others, but I'm definitely no hero. That and Poodle's wings aren't even black. Huh. Aw, Poodle's cute. Alright, let's rest. Um, no, we don't need to cook. So let's rest, no cooking. Um, let's uh, really quickly talk to... Hmm. Let's just get closer to Law. Why if I join you, Law? We need to get closer to them because then we're going to get stronger. Look, we're training now. <laughs> We get stronger. The, nah, how are you gonna punch the armor, dude? <laughs> that had to hurt. So now you get closer to them, and keep you keep getting closer to them. All right, perfect. I feel pretty refreshed after that sleep. Hell yeah! All right, so let's find out what's over here. This is. I oh know. I don't know if this is Lynn Geese. I think we made it to where we we're supposed to go. Yep, this is Este uh, Luva Forest. Este Luva Forest. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. I don't care. It is what it is. This place gives me the creeps. You really think that lord is hiding out here? Be careful. The air is dense with astral energy. Something's not quite right about this place. How are you able to pick up on all this stuff anyway? 
Is it something that all astral arts wielders can do? I must admit, I'm curious myself. Perhaps her den and bloodline has something to do with it. <laughs> Dohalim. Apologies. I meant no disrespect. Stay alert, everyone. There's a good chance that she already knows we're here. Gotta keep our guard up, baby. Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. Something does feel odd. But it's hmm. okay. I suppose if you're a lord going into hiding, a forest is one place to turn. We don't know for sure she's here. Keep looking. I'm just trying to see if there's any goodies before we run into this lord. Haha! -ha. Nice. Thank you. I'll take that. Let me see if there's anything else on the other side. Nope. Alright, let's go. Let's find out what's going on here. And we made it. Looks like this elevator is stuck. Damn it. What the hell did the Renans do to it? Well, I mean, we're not getting out of here unless we find a way around it. Why don't we look around and see if there's anything useful? Um, a wise idea, perhaps. We'll find another way down. That all right with you, Xion? Sure. All right, so we have to find a way down. Investigate the fortress ruins underground area. Ah. Uh, elevator seems to be offline, so we have to put it, bring it back online. All right, cool, 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 cool. Let me collect this. Ooh. Oh. Oh, cancel. Hold on, hold on. Do we need any peach gel? Probably not. No. I'll leave it there for now. We may not... We may... Oh, there. We can go down that way. See? When you're playing RPGs, you can spot the stuff right away. That The red over there. But... <laughs> see what we have here. Potato. Mmm. I don't know if you guys like, you know, your french fries and nothing oh oh shit are you serious crap go through here come to papa astral ore okay see we get the s the astral ore but then i can't use it i don't understand that whoa i don't want to i don't want to fall hold on descend yeah definitely don't want to fall Yeah, I should have just dropped down. I don't think you die. Descend. Alright, let's go. What the hell? Let's go, man. Holy shit, that's like a... There we go. Again? Shit. Oh, well, let's keep going. Oh yeah. Oh. Fortress ruins basement. Fourth floor. These look like some freaking warhog things. They look like they have really strong skin. I can carve through Here we go. There we go. Goodbye. Nice. Very nice. They weren't that hard. This should come in handy when crafting weapons. That's what I need. We got three of them. Oh, I have to fight those again. Hold on. Can we find them again? Let's collect this. Beautiful. Copper chunk. All right, let's see what, um, hold on. The elevator seems to be offline. It's still offline. What, what's this? Okay, I know I have to go that way, but you guys know me. What's over here? Let's go time. All right, hold on. This guy seems like he's, ooh. What's up, homeboy? 
Oh, hold on, hold on. Get him. There we go. Break this homeboy. You're dead. It's over for you, homeboy. Goodbye. In the air. Beautiful. Wish they were all that easy. Yeah. I think we might be getting too strong. We got Isn't the demi human muscle. Play along, would you? We got the demi human muscle. Let's see what's over here. Let's see what we have. Hmm. Somebody, somebody was living here, I guess. Yeah, looks like somebody, maybe like a scientist or something. Somebody who's there's got to be something here worth um protecting. Pork. The damn pork! I'm telling you, it's like this game is like. Has pork everywhere. 8,500 gold. Okay, that's worth it. Um, here's something over here. Hold on. A collection of old equipment. Um, um, experiment implements. Someone been keeping mementos. Interesting. Yeah, man. Oh, look. It's over here. Hold on. A couch that looks completely out of place here. Was it for a lord? Hmm. Was the lord is the lord here? The lord is probably here somewhere. A collection of literature pertaining to astro astral arts um, across multiple fields of research. Interesting. Hmm. All right. So that's it. Nothing else. Okay. We're good. Make sure we're good. No. Heal myself. Let's do this, guys. Alright. Let's go. Here's the mechanism. Hmm. It looks like the generator to an elevator. Turn on the generator. Yes, of course. Beautiful. The elevator can now stop on the surface as well as uh, basement 3, basement 4. Well, thanks. Cool. Alright. Nothing in here that I can grab? Nothing else? Nope. Okay. So, I think we searched this whole place here, right? Okay. So, there's nothing to do but... Um, ground floor, or let's go to three. Let's do this first. Hmm. Ha ha! I knew it. Beautiful. Perfect. Okay. What else can we grab? Ooh, those guys are gonna give us more goodies. Let's kick these guys' asses first. What up, man? Yes! It's over! You are my baby! Goodbye. Very easy, guys. Those guys are easy. Wish they were all that easy. Hell yeah. I think we might be getting too strong. Okay, no, no, no. Isn't that good? Play along, would you? This place goes pretty deep underground. It was probably built that way so it could still be used even if the above ground portion got destroyed. Perhaps that's why it's still here. And why it was made into her hideout. It would certainly stand to reason. It makes sense though. Alright. Let's kick some ass. It'll be a breeze. Get in, get out. Oh, okay. Let's see how it is, homeboy. Yeah, we we'll break you, homeboy. Get him, Renwo. Miss me, you freaking dirtbag. It's over. Goodbye, buddy. Yes. You're next. Goodbye. And then they, they're giving us... This is barely target practice. Demi-human muscle. Then why bother fighting them? Because I certainly won't run away from a battle. 
Hell no, we won't run away from no damn battle. We got this. Let's see what's over here. It's gotta be some goodie. Ooh, look at how big this thing is. Scaled crystal, a tough crystal that can disperse impact against it. Its uh, physical structure is so strong that it believes to be indestructible by physical means. Scaled crystal. Wow. Beautiful. That was worth every bit of that fight. 2200 gold. Thing? Anything else we can grab? Beautiful. What's this? Hold on. There is remnants of machinery with no clear purpose long since inactive. Hmm. Cool. Okay. For the hideout of a runaway lord, this place is a lot bigger than I was expecting. Do you think she had it built with that in mind? No. Personally, I think this used to be part of a Danon castle or fortress of some sort. How can you tell? For one thing, it doesn't look like a storehouse. For another, it's old, and you can tell it was built to let people hole up inside of it. Huh. I'll take your word for it. Makes I don't sense. know the first thing about brick. You know, I've always thought you were a smart little cookie. But damn, Renwell, you really know your stuff. It's no big deal. I've just read a lot of books, is all. If this is meant to be a castle, there wasn't much to it above ground. Are there such things as underground castles? There probably used to be more of it above ground. That is, until 300 years ago. So the main structure must have been lost during the time of the invasion, with only the underground part remaining. And then this Lord decided to use it for her own purposes. Have I got that right? But what reason could she have for using this place instead of staying back in her own castle? That's what we're here to find out. Whatever it is, she's up to no good. Right. It's all the more reason we need to hurry up and find her before it's too late. Right. But you guys know me. I have to um, gather all my goodies first. All right. Um, all right, hold on. I think this is a good stopping point. So um, before we move on, I think we've gotten pretty far. Been recording for an hour and some change now. So um, I'm trying to keep these recordings like 50 minutes, no more than 50 minutes and things like that. But um, if you like this type of content, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.